Okay, on this video, I'm just gonna do a quick introduction to triangles, um, just for anyone who hasn't really done you know, a lot of work with triangles um, in the past. So, a triangle is obviously a three-sided figure. I think most everybody at this level has seen them before. Um, I'm gonna do a little vocab here. Um, let's start with, you could take any three points and you can create a triangle from them. Let's name these three points, I don't know, how about um, A, C, and T. So these three points can make up a triangle. We're going to call them vertices because we're going to connect them. Oops, let's do a better job than that. Okay, so let's say I connect them similar to this. All three of these, okay. So we would say that these three vertices, we just made sides between the vertices and the sides, okay, make a triangle. So now we would say that the vertices are C, A, and T. So vertices, oh, did I spell that wrong? No, I was right. are C, A, and T, so cat, okay? The sides, the sides we can call C, A, or A, C, I'll call it C, A, or A, C. You can call it C, T, or T, C. And you can call it TA or AT, like so, okay? This also has angles. So an angle would be something like this size right here, this angle. Okay, now this angle, we can call angle A. And the reason we're able to call it angle A is because there's nothing else really at angle A. Now, if we had this complex figure or something and maybe you had these lines coming off here, then we have a lot more angles we could call A. But since we really only have this angle here, we can call it angle A. Or you can call it angle CAT. Or you can call it angle T A C. As long as that A is in the middle, so as long as you when you go C to A to T, your angle's in the middle. Or you go T to A to C and the angle's in the middle. Which now means that this angle up here we can call angle C. Angle a, C, T, or you can call it angle T, oops, T, C, A. Again, the angle's in the middle. So we can keep on doing that for all the angles here for our triangles. Let's see if I can erase these. Don't erase everything. Okay, um, so those are just some quick ideas of naming it. Along with naming it, we can also name it triangle. We can call it triangle. And we can name it triangle, whatever we want, as long as we use those three vertices. So we can call it triangle cat. We can even draw a triangle here and call it triangle act or triangle TAC or TCA or triangle CTA and see, see all these all these ways you can call it or triangle 
ATC. Those are all the ways that you can call this triangle. Okay, this triangle has have all these names on all these sides. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Just basic ideas of naming it. Okay, um, let's see if we can do this. We don't want to get rid of that. Kind of erase up here, stuff stuff here. Let's go. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to talk about is when you're talking about like directions within triangles. So for example here, let's draw, I just had triangle cat. So let me get rid of all this over here. Okay, so if you're not a cat person, Draw a nice obtuse triangle. Let's be a little bit better. Clean up a little bit. Okay, if you're not a cat person, let's call this triangle D O G. We're going to call it triangle D O G. Now, you would say, you could say, I should say, you could say, that this side DO, so DO is included it's included in vertices O and D. Okay, that's one thing you could say. Included just means it's between. So DG is included in DG, and side OG is included between vertices O and G. You can also say something else, that DO is opposite angle G. So DO, side DO, is opposite angle G. Okay. So side OG is opposite angle D. Side DG is opposite angle O. So just a few other things that you could say in terms of, of just basic ideas of triangles.